Hello all viewers, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to another Joseph Reviews, video on Joseph Reviews. And this time I will be ranking the DCU movies. Yes, the DC movies. Yep. And as I did my Spider-Man ranking, if you want to check that out at the end of this video, please do so. Give me a second, folks. <clears throat> And keep in mind, uh, as always, um, this is my opinion, it's subjective, not objective, it's my opinion. So if your favourite and least favourite aren't there anywhere, um, obviously my list is different to yours. So let's just all have a great discussion and have some fun, and yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get on with the list coming at number six. Alright, coming at number 6, we have Suicide Squad. Yes, guys, these movies have changed a lot. So, and, um, throughout the rankings. And yes, yeah, Suicide Squad, when I first saw this in the similar, I thought that was actually quite good. Then my spoiler review, I watched it another time. It went down a grade, but now it's gone. To, it's now my least favorite MCU movie, and yeah, not really that great to be honest. I mean, it's. I mean, what a complete mess this was. I mean, the opening bit was the best bit of the movie, you know, um, uh, with Batman and everything. Oh, and the Flash cameo was quite cool, but the third act is pretty atrocious, and Enchantress, who is easily the worst villain in the series, and it's good to hear Bohemian Rhapsody and the soundtrack, which yeah, Suicide Squad, I would give this a 5 out of 10, so overall Suicide Squad, um, not that great of a movie, changed a lot on it recently. Alright, coming at number 5, we have Justice League. Yes, Justice League also made me change my opinions on this. Well, slightly. Well, I, at first, guys, I did enjoy this movie, guys. You know, but as I thought about it more, um, it started to gone down a lot. For me, not a lot of Suicide Squad, but you know... But, th but this movie still has its moments, you know. Um, the moustache CGI on Superman and Henry, Hen Henry Cavill is just so distracting. Like, he was good in everything else, but that moustache CGI is so distracting. Completely. And the other characters are great in here as well. And the villain, wow. What a waste, villain. And the problem is that I wanted this to be longer. This is like two hours, only two hours, and yeah, the shortest uh, DCU movie, and yeah, I'd probably give this now a 5 or a 6 out of 10, yeah. Alright, coming at number 4, we have Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, yeah, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Is not a good movie. It's the the theatrical cut isn't, uh, but the extended cut improves it. So I started to kind of grow on this movie a little bit, even though I don't think it's um, that great. Not a great movie. Not a, um, not a very good movie. It's it's good in parts, like you know, the the warehouse with Batman. <clears throat> And the acting is pretty good. And, uh, but Jesse Eisenberg as, uh, Lex Luthor was horrendous to look at. Like, he doesn't even, he's not even Lex Luthor at all whatsoever. And, um, 
yeah, guys, this is not really my, um, this is not really that great. While this extended edition does improve, which yes, there are better things about the extended cut, but yeah, I would give it like, I would give the theatrical cut like a 5 out of 10, then I give the extended cut like a 6 or 7 out of 10, because it does improve, yeah. And coming at number 3, this is where we get to the standalones, the standalones are the best ones. And starting off the standalone list, we have Man of Steel, which I've changed my opinions on a lot recently. This is the similar um, change upon as Suicide Squad since that movie went down for me. This movie has gone up for me. Like I used to think this was all right, but I didn't hate it in my back in my review. If you haven't checked out my reviews, they're on my channel for all these movies, and yeah. But yeah, this movie has really grown on me from my review. I think, um, you know, I think um, General Zod is the best villain in this, uh, played by Michael Shannon. Uh, I think he's probably the best villain we've had in the DCU, even though he isn't... Um, that great but um but it is what it is oh and the fight scene is really cool and yes this movie does improve a lot so on my rating scale i would give this a seven or an eight out of ten big improvement every time i've thought about it and watched and guys coming at number two is the newly released Aquaman. Now, Aquaman is a really uh, fun film. Um, I enjoy this movie a lot. I think Jason Mawona is really good. Um, Amber Heard is... oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, in this movie. Um, yeah. It's, yes. We haven't gotten a, a, a superhero crush in a, while, in a while, sorry, I'm losing my words. But yes, if you want to hear more thoughts, check out my review. Uh, James Wan's direction is really well done, and so are the action sequences. There are some problems with the movie. Like, while I liked um, Black Manta, but the only problem I had with him was the dialogue. His dialogue was quite not that great. And yeah, some, and yeah, the first act kind of drags, but as it picks up, it gets better and better. But yes, check out my review. For it. I'm gonna give it a eight out of ten. And yeah. And guys, coming at number one, it's obvious. It is Wonder Woman. Yes, Wonder Woman is my number one DCU movie. Like this movie delivered on so much. Like, we all thought this was going to be the first really great movie of this franchise, and it most definitely is. Like, this movie really does have some amazing action sequences. Gal Gadot is amazing as Wonder Woman, and Chris Pine is great in this movie. Yeah, this movie pretty much works on every level guys and this is by far the best DCU movie um, the death scene with um, uh, Trevor played by um, yeah uh, Chris Pine is emotional but yes so and that guys is my number one DCU movie Wonder Woman if you want to hear more thoughts on these movies, check out my reviews from all of them. Alrighty guys, that was my updated ranking on the DCU movies. Now comment down below, let me know what you um, thought of this list, how do you compare it. And comment down below, let me know how would you rank these movies, let me know below, I'm interested to know. Yeah. And, um... 
hopefully guys at some point I'll do my best and worst of the year list because some years I didn't have a worst list but I do this year and you'll find out I don't know when I'll be making the videos but I will when I get round to them but yes guys um, hope you enjoyed the Christmas trilogy Christmas Eve Christmas Day and Boxing Day hope you loved it those days I had a wonderful time personally and hope Santa got everything what you all wanted and yeah and as always guys comment like and subscribe all my social media links are in the description below I'm now on snapchat so add me on there click on the notification bell before you leave and as always until my next video I will see you guys next time and peace